Hey guys, it's Michael with Mealy Marine, and today we're gonna to be checking out the fuel problem on this six horse, 60 horsepower Mercury EFI motor. The customer brought this in a couple months ago. We did like a whole service to it. He's been using it a lot, and then the last trip, he said that he was losing RPMs at high speeds, and when he would come back here, he could pump the bulb, and then he would get his speed back. So obviously you have some kind of fuel starvation issue. First thing you guys want to check if that's the issue is if you have this gray fuel line like this, it's garbage. Um, if you can see right here, Christian, can you see that? This like clear part right here. All right, so that clear part is liner. These uh, gray fuel lines are lined with that liner. The crappy gas that we have with the ethanol in it eats that liner up, that liner collapses. And basically, right, it might, it might still flow but once we start getting some real suction, we don't have enough flowage. You know, we're gonna replace this straight straight off the bat, replacing it, uh, it's the original. We're also going to be replacing the bulb. I, I've, I've, I've not personally seen it, but I've heard hundreds and hundreds of times, read, read a forum, and they say, you replace it with an OEM bulb. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do that. So that's step number one. Step number two is we need to check if his low pressure fuel pump is getting the correct pressure. So what we did is we took our fuel pressure gauge, we disconnected the fuel line right here from the low pressure mechanical pump that feeds the VST. We put this in line and we put a hose over to here and then we checked it. Now, the only downside to this gauge is it starts at four and it's barely passed. Uh, this is supposed to read above five, uh, it's like four to six. Uh, it's not even, like it's barely moving. We suspect that this is also the issue, we just don't have enough power here. And then also we checked the fuel pressure here at the VST. We had like 43, 44, which is like right on the money. So we know that the high pressure pump at idle uh, is not messed up, uh, no clogs, no nothing. So it leads me to believe, and you know, you can correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, because I am stupid, uh, is if he's back here having to pump the fuel, it's this pump is not getting the fuel. Right, the fuel comes from back here, fills this up. It's, there's no fuel in here to feed it. So he's having to pump, which would lead me to believe these two things are our culprit. You know, as it's been stated and pointed out in the comment section, I am not a Mercury trained mechanic, but I don't need to be a Mercury trained mechanic to figure this out. Um, so if I'm wrong, comment down below, let me know. Uh, we're gonna send the quote off to the customer. We're just gonna replace this fuel line. And we're also going to replace the fuel pump here in the back you know i think for what this is a 12, uh, 2012 for 2012 he's not replaced anything other than done a 300 hour service i think that uh whatever this 150 60 bucks for that pump uh is i think is great that he's not having to really do any work to it uh if i recall this thing has quite a few hours it has over 300 so he definitely uses it but that's it for right now we'll check back once I get all these parts replaced and uh, we'll figure out if I'm right or wrong. Bye. All right, guys, so we're back here working on the tracker, uh, 175, whatever this is, with the uh, 60 horsepower ELPTO four stroke. Uh, we replaced the mechanical fuel pump. We replaced the fuel line in the bulb. And uh, one thing that we found is we fixed it for sure. Sorry about, sorry about the sun. Sorry that I'm blacked out. What we found is with this new pump, uh our readings on our gauge are a lot steadier yeah definitely got that fixed up for them so that's it for today's video guys i hope you liked it if you did please be sure to like subscribe and share and uh check back next time we got another boat in here just like this i mean we got boats all over the place so yeah check back next time see you later bye